talking to the GoPro Fusion. Hi, look this way, hey. <laughs> so GoPro Fusion flying on the Fatar Morgana uh, Peace Class drone. Have fun up there. Come on, buddy. Wait for back. DJI FPV system, the DJI digital FPV system, right here. What do you think, buddy? Cool. Cool. Trust the old chameleon. You just pretending. Thought I'd drop it into a five-inch quad and give it a test here. See what see what all the buzz is about. This is exciting because it is an HD link down to these goggles. So inside your goggles, you're seeing 720p in HD quality which is unusual we're used to a lot less than that uh, it also combines video transmission and radio signal into one box this is running on firmware version 1.00.00.00 so it's early days in the firmware um, and when it comes to DJI and when it's early days in firmware you know there's more to come <laughs> so chief chief missing item at this point is the OSD. You have no idea from the flight controller what mode you're in, what warnings are happening, um, distance, altitude, height, speed, artificial horizon. Uh, the only OSD you're getting, the only information you're getting is the voltage of the flight pack. What do you think, Mikey? I'm tightening it up. You tight don't tighten up too much. You gotta fit my big fat head. Is that better? Yeah. Fits. You look kind of like a bug. Hmm? Do you feel like a bug? No. Is it comfortable? Yeah. Is it is it too big? No, I tightened it up. Just the flight radio. The flight radio. This probably looks really familiar. Kind of reminds me of what I used to fly on the Inspire 1 or the Lightbridge 2 system I use on the heavy lifter. Um, one thing that they've added versus other DJI radios are these uh, mode switches. So you have four or three position switches and beta flight picked up on them immediately so programming was was a snap. One big thing they've changed which, I'd, which I'm excited about is the battery. So it now runs on the same battery that the Crystal Sky monitors use and the Ascendants. And that's cool because I've got a whole bunch of them and it's nice that you can swap it out if it starts to go. The, uh, the goggles on the other hand can work on the exact same battery that you would use for for fat sharks there's no strap built in so you have to figure out you're on your own for figuring out how to stick it on the side of your head i just have a sweat band on there now Ooh, is it time to fly mikey yeah, yeah. wow crispy crispy
sure is nice. It is cool to see everything in a uh, so much detail. It's a bummer that this chameleon is not liking Beta Flight 4. <laughs> clear that this drone is going to need a little bit of work to fly well on 4, on Beta Flight 4. For some reason, it doesn't always want to start up enough to kind of reboot. The flight controller just shows a warning um, of some kind, and because you don't know what the warnings are and the lack of OSD, it's hard to say what that is. But reboot! So, uh, I'll give this another whirl. I'm behind you. Alright, we are recording. Sides, which I know is DJI's way of kind of keeping the uh, bandwidth down. Which is interesting because I don't think we're not that far away. <laughs> you know? Yeah. After a couple flights with it, uh, I can say that the uh, the look, being able to see things in real detail, is kind of a, is a cool treat. Um, I can't totally like decide because of the um, the impact that switching to Betaflight 4 has had on this particular drone. It's hard to say what the <laughs> you know cause the flight dynamics are crappy uh, for now. Okay, switches are all teeny 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 switches. The picture is. You know, detailed and sharp, and I'm not feeling any um, latency in the way it handles. The picture's good. The goggles are comfortable. There's a lot of light leak around the edges, and it feels like it's designed for a much bigger head than mine. So hopefully, there's some like foam options in the future. Alright, back on the uh, analog. It's good to have all that info again. <laughs> Flying the uh, GoPro Fusion 360 camera on there for a bit of a test. They have a pretty cool interface for kind of recomposing, like you shoot all directions at once and then in post-production you're able to choose which way the camera's looking, which is fun. And then of course you can do some funny small planet type shots and <laughs> You know, other, other 360 tricks. So.
we definitely need to figure out a uh, battery solution for these. Why they didn't put that on there is beyond me. Dang, Beta Flight 4 though. Does not like this quad. So positives, positives for this system, the, the picture quality, the range, and the ease of use, the clean build because of the single box, those are all great things. Missing the OSD needs to, to be made right. And then I, I wish there was a, a video out on the ground somehow, a separate receiver that a client or a collaborator could look at or an HDMI out of the goggle, maybe. Um, I know you can buy more goggles and tune them in, but I'm not, I'm not sure if that makes a ton of sense for, for, for professional work, handing out goggles to everyone on a crew <laughs> versus uh, having a nice big monitor. Uh, if it's going to be a professional tool for videography, we need to have like a way to monitor and not just the pilot, but, but the team. Good flight experience cool to see a nice big field of view, nice clear picture. Um, let's get that OSD going, <laughs> you know, make it more flyable. Yeah, DJI, keep at it. Keep at it. Hi.